guys, Quinjax here. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. I played the first one on my phone, but I never played it on the computer, so let's see how this works. And reopen it. First night. Okay, let's see how this goes. All I can say is that I actually do suck at this. I was never able to defeat the custom knight on Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's just see if I could do a bit better here. I heard this game is a lot harder than the first one, so let's see. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? still alive? Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot seeing you as an endoskeleton without its costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. Uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the spray head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, friends. So everyone seems to be in their place so far. 2 a.m. Like in night one, it was really easy. The first one, I don't know if it's time to use here too.
Six a.m. Yeah! Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and become Jinxer today. And if you want more, comment down below. And yeah.